In this lecture, we will study Lange law. Lange law can, comes into picture when we talk about Faraday law of induction. So, whenever we study Faraday law of induction, then the details cannot be completed without learning Lange law. In the previous lecture, we have discussed the significance of minus and which is arising due to negative sign due to this Lange law. So today in this lecture we will discuss Lange law. In this lecture we will learn about Lange law and at the end of this the learning outcome will be how this law assists to induction, Faraday law of induction. We will get the details about conservation of energy, how this is related with conservation of energy, Newton's third law. We will also discuss the direction, how it can be given using right, right hand rule. And finally, we will discuss applications, possible applications of this. Lange law named after the German scientist Lange in 1834. Lange law obeys Newton's third law of motion that to every action there is always an equal and opposite reaction and the conservation of energy. That is, energy can neither be created nor be destroyed and therefore sum of all energy in the system is constant. So basically, these uh, law represent these two and it is given by the scientist Lange. We have discussed the current is induced due to magnetic field. We have discussed this in previous lecture. Now the question is direction of current. The direction of current induced in conductor by change in magnetic field is such that the magnetic field created by induced current opposes the initial changing magnetic field which produces it. So it is important we will discuss this thing in detail in the next slides but the magnetic field is created and the created magnetic field is opposed the magnetic field which due to which it is it has been created the direction of this flow is given by right hand rule we will discuss in detail also Try to learn with these figures. When a current is induced by a magnetic field, you may see here, here we are having magnet, magnet and coil. Where is coil? Yes, this is coil in all four cases. A wire is rotated, bounded on a hollow metallic surface to create coil. Of course, one resistance or is also shown here, plus minus uh, battery charge is also shown here. Now, the second is magnet. This magnet you can see then we are pushing this magnet inside or outside. First we are observing here north pole is inside then north pole is outside then this second then third south pole is inside then fourth south pole is first south pole outside then south pole is inside. Now the thing is when we 
come close to the coil the magnet come bring close to the coil the magnetic flux will increase and this magnetic flux will induce an increase when a current is produced by a magnetic field the magnetic field that induce current will create its own magnetic field here at this magnetic field always in such a way this oppose the magnetic field that originally created it so this coil will have some magnetic field and this magnetic field will oppose this magnet and that is why this will be in opposite direction if the magnetic field b is increasing the induced magnetic field will act as it will try to decrease this and that is why you were observing a magnetic field in such a way that is you are having this is downward direction current if you take this out then the current direction is upward similarly with the s also if you bring if you comes outside if you bring uh, is outside this south uh, south pole then it will be the suppose if it in direct direction then if you bring close it will be upward direction the direction can be taken by the fleming rule when the magnetic field is decreasing the induced magnetic field will act in opposition to it but this time in opposition means acting to increase the field so that is important opposition means if it is decreasing it will tend to increase if something is increasing it tend to decrease when an em electromotive force is generated by magnetic flux according to faraday law the polarity of induced emf is such that it produces an induced current and this induced current ultimately will also generate a magnetic field this magnetic field which is due to induced current will oppose the initial change through which it produced so electromotic force is always given by n d phi over dt here see this the negative sign this negative sign used in faraday law and this indicates that the change in magnetic flux have opposite sign the formula for this is shown and this sign is very important for us you can say this epsilon is suppose the value is increasing then phi will be decreasing so similarly suppose you are saying some way epsilon is decreasing it means your phi is increasing opposite to each other lange law and conservation of energy is again an important thing to analyze why lange law occurs it is to obey the conservation of energy the direction of current by a lange law must create a magnetic field we have discussed this 
and this magnetic magnetic field opposes magnetic field that created it initially in fact lagge law is a consequence of law of conservation of energy energy is always conserved cannot be destroyed cannot be created if you are increasing the energy and it must be destroyed it must be so that a total is constant some of the energy in the system should be constant if the magnetic field created by induced current is the same direction as the field produced with it then the two magnetic field will combine and create larger magnetic field this combined larger magnetic field in turn induce another current which is twice the magnitude of original induced current and this would in turn create another magnetic field which will induce another and so on so this is not possible it is always conserved we can see that if lange law didn't dictate that induced current must create a magnetic field that oppose the field that created it then we would end up with the endless positive feedback loop and this will break the conservation of energy principle which is not possible and so we always use lange we always have conservation of energy lange law always obey newton's third law of motion to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction if the induced current create magnetic field which is equal and opposite to direction of magnetic field that create it that only it can resist the changes in the magnetic field in the area this is in accordance with newton's third law of motion so we have to keep in mind that that this may be asked so that or justify why we are saying lange law obeys conservation then it can be explained using this once again to better understand learn the case again suppose when magnet is moving towards the coil the north pole is approaching towards the coil the magnetic field linking with the coil increases according to faraday law magnetic electromagnetic induction takes place where there is a change in flux and this will induce an emf and the current in the coil the current will create its own magnetic field and this will oppose the changes as we now similar poles repel each other so what we are saying suppose you have created the magnetic field then this will behave as a magnet and which which magnet yes this this portion will behave as north pole and both north pole will repel each other so if you are moving your initially you are moving your uh magnet towards the coil this will behave as a north so that it will try to repel the current flows in the anti clockwise direction so that you will get this north here and south here similarly similarly when a magnet is moving away from the coil suppose you are moving this magnet away from the coil what will happen when the north pole of the magnet is moving away from the coil the magnetic flux linking to the coil decreases and according to faraday law of induction an emf and hence current is induced in the coil and this current will create its own magnetic field again the current will introduce magnetic field created and this oppose its own 
who or who created this this is possible when when this is possible only when this this wave as south pole so the current is induced or magnet is induced in such a way that this should behave as a south pole so it will move in clockwise direction so that is important whenever we bring uh, the magnet towards each the coil away from the coil all the time it behaves as if to oppose the change in this case due to this it try to attract for finding the direction of magnetic field or current we use right hand thumb rule as you have told previously and what right hand told you if the finger of the right hand are placed around the wire so that the thumb points in the direction of current flow the curling of finger will show the direction of magnetic field so by this you can see the direction here the direction in upward direction then this will be in anti clockwise if this is in downward this will be in clockwise so you can check this how we have created the coil how you can check the current in the coil on the basis of this you can see if the magnitude is linking a coil increases the direction of current in the coil will such a way it will oppose the the increase in magnetic flux and hence induced current will produce this is also called fleming right hand thumb rule or that is why you are having this suppose flux is increasing you are having anti clockwise direction since both are in opposite direction flux your flux is phi and this phi flux is increasing and you are having phi 1 suppose if your flux is decreasing then induced will be in the same direction if your flux is increasing this will be in opposite direction you can observe this thing very clearly here this is decreasing increasing suppose then this will be in such a way to oppose this but in this case both are in same direction applications the applications of line law include it can be used to understand the concept of stored magnetic energy in inductor when a source of emf is connected across an inductor a current start flowing through it this back emf will oppose this increase in current through the indicate inductor in order to establish the flow of current the external source of emf has to do some work and this work can be done by emf stored in the inductor and this can be recovered after removing the external source of emf from the circuit as we know the induced uh, emf and the change in flux have opposite sign this provide a physical interpretation of choice of sign in faraday law is also an application to explain faraday law this can be used for generators electric generators when a circuit is induced in a generator and the direction of this induced current in such a way it oppose and cause rotation of generators if this also provide back emf in case of electric motors this can also use in electromagnetic breaking and induction cooktops induction materials uh, now 
uh, we have many induction methods for heating and breaking automobile system can be used thanks in this lecture we have learned details about Lange law what is Lange law how it help in Faraday law of induction application then how it is it represent conservation of energy and directions in the next lecture we will discuss self and mutual inductance